In this video, we're going to quickly fix a bug in our login system, which was brought to my attention by one of the students. Now, if you come over to the discussion area of the course, you can see here that this student was trying to enter a wrong username. Uh, there was no error displayed. Only when you enter a valid username and a wrong password, that is when you get a message from the system. Let's illustrate that. So if I type in a username that doesn't exist, and then I enter a password and I click on sign in. You can see that there's no response from the system. But if I do type in a username that exists and then a password that is wrong, then I'm going to get a response from the system saying invalid username or password. It turns out that there was a little bug in the login script, which I'm going to show you how to fix right now. All right, so let's go over to the test editor. In our past login file here, we're going to see where we are checking if the username is actually valid. So if you look at the SQL statement again, here we are querying the database to check if the username is valid. And here on this line, we are actually executing the statement using PDO. Now we are trying to fetch record why there is a value returned from the statement here. So instead of using the while loop here, we just use an if statement. So we're going to change this one if statement and I'm going to trace to the bottom part of this if statement. And right here we have the closing curly brace for the if statement. I'm going to put an S part and then copy this result and paste here. So I'm going to use this now to check for invalid username or you can say you have entered an invalid username. You have entered an invalid password. Now if I type in a username that is not existing and then a wrong password you should be able to see you have entered an invalid username. If I enter a valid username and a wrong password, I should be able to see that you have entered an invalid password. And if I provide valid information, I should be able to log in to the system. Once again, thanks to the student who brought this to my attention. And if you happen to see any bug on the system, just let me know and uh, we'll do a fix for the bug. Like you can see, this was just a very, very simple fix.